Or following up on last week's drum, this time I have a 5x14 Ludwig Superphonic Chrome Over uh, Lud Alloy, which is aluminum. This is a 60s shell. This came with um, a 1968 kit I bought. This was the drum that came with it. Um, everything is original except for the throw-off I replaced with the um, whatever the Ludwig standard throw-off is. The wires um, are Pure Sound, uh, regular custom series with gro uh, cross grain ribbon instead of the blue uh, wire things. I think it holds the wires better. Um, this drum is, so like I said last week, the 6 amp by 14 Superphonic might be my one drum if I had to choose the rest of my life. This would be a close second. The only reason I would pick the 6 amp over the 5 as my Desert Island snare drum is um it does have a shorter uh sustain so it, i'm never going to get the bigness the, you know the full big sound that you would get from the six snap drum for like classic rock type of vibe this is a classic rock sound but i think it's more of a tighter i'm thinking keith moon mitch mitchell kind of a classic rock sound as opposed to john bonham or carmine piece or something like that which is a bit bigger and more bombastic this is tighter more focused kind of a sound, but still has that just definitive classic 60s rock sound. Um, it can also be tuned up and played symphonic or jazz or, you know, a variety of things. Currently, um, I have a Remo Weather King tattoo skin head on it. I think it's just like a single ply suede style with some Corey Miller artwork on it. The last session I did, with this drum called for, again, that kind of black keys, real kind of tight, um, dense kind of sound. So I put a homemade muffle ring with some gaff tape. You'll hear it just kind of that real kind of focused, punchy, um, but still kind of not too much personality. That's what I like about the Superphonics. They're not like, they don't have so much personality. They kind of sit in the mix of anything, but you can manipulate them with tuning and get like a little bit more trashiness or more kind of like clean, crisp sound out of them. Um, then I'm just going to tune it up, take the muffin ring off, tune it up, tune it down. Again, showcasing um, the versatility of these drums and how they can kind of always sound good. Because when I change the tuning, I'm not checking anything. I'm just up and down. Maybe I tuned them all up. Maybe I forgot one. I don't know. Um, I think I got them all. But when I went down, again, I'm kind of sometimes when they're not all perfectly balanced, you get some cool funkiness that sits in the track really, really well. So let's check it out. We're going to start with the kind of dead, dry sound where I had it the last session, and then I'll just start messing around with it. Here we go.
1960s Ludwig Superphonic. Cool thing about Superphonics, doesn't matter what year, you can get a brand new one. It's going to sound pretty much exactly like this one. Um, this it still has the original internal muffler. Everything, it's a, just a solid workhorse of a drum. Um, you kind of can't go wrong by having this as well as its larger counterpart, the 6 nap by 14 um, as a centerpiece for your collection for just about any genre, um, any style. Super easy to tune. Um, I don't think they'll ever go out of flavor, so it can't hurt to have one of these. Five and a, this is a 5 by 14 Superphonic. Uh, that's it. So we'll see you next time. Please, um, if you dig this, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any special requests. Other than that, I'll get back to playing and see you next time.